differentiation and its application in physics first we have to know what is differentiation dy by dx is equal d dx of y dy by dx is equal d dx of y so this is known as this is known as derivative of y derivative of the variable y with respect to wrt means with respect to x derivative of the variable y with respect to another variable x with respect to another variable x and this is also known as this is also known as the instantaneous the instantaneous rate of change of the instantaneous rate of change of y with respect to x where dx is the small change in x dx is the very small change in x very small change in the value of x dx is a very small change in the value of the variable x di is also the very small change in the variable y dy is also very small change in the value of the variable y dy by dx equal d dx of y that is known as derivative of the variable y with respect to another variable x here dy by dx is the rate of change of the variable y with respect to x dy by dx is the rate of change of y rate of change in the value of y with respect to x number two topic is we have to know different formulae in connection with differentiation number one d dx of x to the power n equal n x to the power n minus 1 d dx of x to the power n equal n dot x to the power n minus 1 so here if d dx is operated over x to the power n in that case power will decrease to n minus 1 and unchanged power n will come in front of x application of this formula that is d dx of x to the power 7 becomes 7 x to the power 6 d dx of x to the power 7 becomes 7 x to the power 6 similarly d dx of x cube becomes 3 x square d dx of x cube becomes 3 x square and uh, next application is d dx of x square equal to x d dx of x square becomes 2 x and d dx of x is equal 1 d dx of x equal 1 now we can show in what way ddx of x becomes 1 ddx of x can be written as ddx of x to the power 1 and it becomes 1 dot x to the power 1 minus 1 equal 1 dot x to the power 0 equal 1 dot 1 so finally we get ddx of x as is equal 1 ddx of x is equal to 1 or unity and in this case uh, differentiation means splitting differentiation means splitting that's why power of x uh, decreases due to operation of d dx over x to the power n number two formula is d dx of c equals zero where c is a constant where c is a constant d dx of c equals zero where c is a constant we know that d of c equals 0 as the value of c does not change as the value of c does not change value of c does not change and here d means change d means change of c and that is equal to 0 because c is a constant it does not change number 3 formula d dx of now number 2 is d dx of c equals 0 number 1 formula d dx of x to the power n becomes n dot x to the power n minus 1 number 3 formula d dx of c x to the power n becomes c d dx of x to the power n here c is a constant d dx of c x to the power n equals c d dx of x to the power n where c is a constant where c is a constant c is a constant we can bring c is a constant and we can bring this constant 
term outside DDX. That's why C uh, comes outside DDX operator. As C is constant, that uh, constant term C can be brought outside the DDX operator. Outside the DDX operator. Now, example of this above formula DDX of 7 x to the power 1 by 7. And result will be uh, result will be x to the power minus 6 by 7 result will be x to the power minus 6 by 7 that is uh, 7 ddx of x to the power 1 by 7 and 7 into 1 by 7 x to the power 1 by 7 minus 1 and it becomes x to the power minus 6 by 7 it becomes x to the power minus 6 by 7 here 7 and 7 will cancel out Number 4 formula ddx of u plus v sum of two variables will be equal to ddx of u plus ddx of v. ddx of u plus v will be equal to ddx of u plus ddx of v. Number 5 formula ddx of u minus v will be same as ddx of u plus v that is ddx of u minus ddx of v. We get ddx of u minus v as ddx of u minus ddx of v. Number 6. Number 6 is ddx of u dot v. That is important formula. Product of two variables which will be equal to v ddx of u plus u ddx of v. u ddx of v. Uh, ddx of u plus v becomes v ddx of u plus u ddx of v u is the first variable and v is the second variable v is the second variable in this case we have to bring second variable uh, first outside ddx operator that becomes v equal v ddx of u then u comes uh, outside ddx and it will become u ddx of v ddx of u dot v becomes ddx of u dot v becomes v ddx of u plus u ddx of v that is the formula of differentiation of product of two variables number seven is ddx of u by v it should be same almost same as uh, that of ddx of u by v that is v ddx of u minus u ddx of v divided by v square that means divided by square of the second variable square of the second variable and we get ddx of u by v equal v ddx of u minus u ddx of v whole divided by v square number eight formula number eight formula is derivatives of number eight formula derivatives of trigonometrical trigonometrical functions derivatives of trigonometrical functions number a formula ddx of sin x becomes cos x ddx of sin x equal cos x if ddx is operated on sin x we get cos x number b formula ddx of cos x ddx of cos x becomes minus sin x ddx of cos x is equal minus sin x in this case uh, this trigonometrical function has uh, the first letter as c here uh, the first letter of cos x is c and cos x starts with the letter c that's why differentiation of uh, that trigonometrical function will be negative and we get ddx of cos x is equal minus sin x now ddx of tan x become 6 square x ddx of tan x becomes 6 square x number d formula is ddx of sec x becomes sec x tan x ddx of sec x becomes sec x tan x that is uh, number d formula number e formula ddx of cot x will be what and number f formula ddx of cosec x ddx of cosec x will be what and cot x and cosec x will follow the same pattern 
as that of 10x and sec x. Cot x and cosec x will follow the same result as that of 10x and sec x and uh, the first letter of cot x and cosec x is c that's why it will they will be negative ddx of cot x and ddx of cosec x will be negative hence uh, ddx of cot x equal minus cosec square x same as 10x uh, that becomes 6 square x and ddx of cosec x becomes minus cosec x cot x ddx of cot x becomes minus cosec square x and ddx of cosec x becomes minus cosec x cot x it should be cosec x not cosec x so obviously ddx of cosec x uh, equal minus cosec x cot x number 9 formula ddx of log x base e what will be the result of ddx of log x base e that is equal to 1 by x now log x base e is actually ln x that is ln x and log x base 10 log x base 10 is denoted by log x only so we get ddx of log x base e as equal 1 by x and relation between log x base e and log x base 10 is equal log x base e equal 2.303 into log x base 10 ln x equal 2.303 times of log x and uh, the value of log 2 base 10 is equal to 0 0.3010 and value of log 2 base e equal 2.303 log 2 base 10 is equal 0 0.6931 so the value of ln x is equal 0 0.6931 number 10 formula ddx of e to the power x number 10 formula ddx of e to the power x now e to the power x is exponential x e to the power x is exponential x e to the power x equal exponential x and e to the power x is equal 1 by 1 plus x plus x square by factorial 2 plus x cube by factorial 3 plus dot 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 and factorial 2 is equal to 2.1 dot one that is 2 and factorial 3 is equal to 3.2.1 dot dot which is equal to 6 and factorial 4 is equal to 24 because factorial 4 is the product of 4 dot product of 4 3 t u uh, 2 1 that's why factorial 4 is 24 hence ddx of e to the power x equal e to the power x ddx of exponential x will be equal to exponential x if we operate ddx over e to the power x uh, it will become e to the power x there will be no change e to the power x is only the function uh, for which if we differentiate there will be no change e to the power minus x is equal 1 minus x plus x square by factorial 2 minus x cube by factorial 3 plus dot 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 and sin x can be written as x plus x cube by factorial 3 plus x 5 by factorial 5 and cos x equal 1 plus x square by factorial 4 plus x 4 by factorial 4 plus dot 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 sin x can be written as e to the power x minus e to the power minus x whole divided by 2 sin x is equal e to the power x minus e to the power minus x whole divided by 2 similarly cos x can be written as Similarly, cos x can be written as e to the power x plus e to the power minus x whole divided by 2. That's why sin x and cos x can be expressed in terms of exponential x. Sin x is equal e to the power x minus e to the power minus x whole divided by 2 and cos x is equal e to the power x plus e to the power minus x whole divided by 2. Number 3 formula, application of differentiation in physics application of differentiation in physics differentiation in uh, physics that means application of differential coefficient in physics differential uh, application uh, and we can say that this is also the application of differentiation in physics number one 
application is what instantaneous velocity v is equal ddt of s where s is the displacement v equal ddt of s which is the instantaneous velocity which is the instantaneous velocity of a body where ds is small displacement and dt is small interval of time v equal ds by dt which is the instantaneous velocity of the body at instant t equal t second where s is the displacement of the body s is the displacement of the body vector v equal ddt of vector s that means instantaneous velocity vector is equal to ddt of displacement vector number two formula acceleration can be written as uh, ddt of v a equal ddt of v where v can be written as the ds by dt is equal ddt of s now a equal ddt of v which is the instantaneous acceleration of the body at the instant t equal t second a equal ddt of v which is the instantaneous acceleration of a body at instant t equal t second and uh, dv is a small change in velocity dv is a small change in velocity and dt is the small interval of time dt is the small interval of time and delta v is the change in only the change in velocity delta v is the change in velocity not change velocity it should be change in velocity and uh, displacement here displacement is from if we want to get uh, velocity from displacement from displacement to velocity we have to use differentiation to convert displacement into velocity we have to use differentiation that means to get velocity we have to differentiate uh, the differ we have to differentiate the displacement with respect to time similarly we can find acceleration from uh, velocity after using differentiation and number three for application of uh, differentiation in physics is force f equal to ddt of p where p equal to mv which is the linear momentum of the body f equal ddt of small p where p is equal to mv which is the linear momentum of the body therefore f equal ddt of mv f is the force acting on a body having mass m moving with velocity v f equal ddt of mv which is the force uh, which is acting and force f is equal to the rate of change of linear momentum f equal ddt of mv which is the force and which is equal to the rate of change of linear momentum mv